And we have a historian with us today that can talk about some stickball in a way that you may not have heard before. And his name is Olin Williams. Would you like to meet Olin? Well, if you'll applaud a little bit harder, you might convince Olin to come up here and talk to you. Good morning. Good morning. They want me to talk about something old. I guess that means I'm old. But uh, stickball's been around 400 years or more. And uh, we, uh, can you raise it up there? Like I said, it's been around like 400 years or more. And uh, we call it uh, the granddaddy of all American sports. When the Europeans came to uh, this continent, the first thing that they noticed was, among other things, but one thing that they actually noticed was the, the way that we played our game. And in Europe, they didn't have any type of field sport as the type that we were playing. And so at first they thought it was kind of odd that you can have uh, two sticks like this. Uh, every player had to have uh, a pair like this. And, uh, and then there's a little ball like this. And you have maybe like 300 people on the field at the same time. And uh, at each end of the field is a, is a goal post. And so they found it pretty odd, but then they found it intriguing that uh, you could have an organized uh, sport like that. So uh, as time went on, they uh, began to borrow some of the concepts from this game of stickball. And we have uh, NBA with a tip-off. Uh, we have uh, baseball and we have hockey, all these things. Uh, most of those things were brought on from the concept of the game of stickball. And if we have a couple of guys that can, uh, do you have, I was gonna ask him to uh, show you how the game is uh, thrown uh, to each other and how they catch with the sticks. It takes a lot of uh, skill to do that and uh, they're going to show you how to throw and catch. And like I said, what you have is two uh, goal posts at the end of the field, and the object is to take the ball and take it to your goal and hit the, hit the uh, goal post with the ball or the stick with the ball in it. And it takes a lot of skill to do that. And uh, we have uh, taken the sport to a level where it has changed over the years. In the beginning, it was, it was used, the game was used to settle disputes. Instead of having uh, a war, they would have uh, a game of stickball to settle disputes. And so, uh, but now we are using it mostly for recreation. It's just more like a sport now. So uh, as you can see, uh, you know, a little ball like that, you can imagine golf players, you know, hitting a little ball. And the webbing on the, on the cups, uh, if, you have, if you play baseball, your glove is shaped like that. And if you look at those two sticks uh, very closely, one cup is bigger than the other. If you're a softball player, your coach will tell you to catch the ball with the glove, but with your hand, you, you make sure you cup it so the ball don't bounce out. And that's what they're doing right there. So the concept you know, I was telling you about, uh, most American sports, we believe, came from the game of stickball. And then uh, the early 
uh, history about how the game was started was <laughs> if you if you look at the the shape of the cup uh, it's shaped like a turtle head so it was from oral tradition they said that some Choctaw was watching a turtle eating so when it snaps to uh, get its, its food, you know, you can hear that, the snapping of the stick. So that's a snapping turtle that's snapping for food. And so that's how the game of stickball started. So uh, we encourage uh, our people to continue the game of stickball because we believe that uh, it best illustrates the uh, resiliency of our people. And this game has been with us a long time and we're going to keep it going and so now at one time it used to be just the men playing stickball but now even the women are beginning to play so uh, it's a good sport it teaches unity it teaches self-discipline anger management uh, it, it teaches a lot of good quality about sport so uh, I hope that if you ever get a chance to go and watch a game of stickball. Thank you very much.